Only in NFL training camp do the hills reside with screams and bellows when a quarterback completes a five-yard pass in the flat to a running back. But such is the nature of training camp, especially in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. And that's what we expect tonight as Ben Roethlisberger conducts his second practice as a professional quarterback, but his first before the watchful eyes of the Steeler faithful. Welcome to Sportsbeat. Here's what's up on the show tonight. Big Ben practice with the Steelers this morning and performs before the fans for the first time tonight. We'll cover all that. NHL meets but greets but has no progress on a labor agreement. West Virginia quarterback Rasheed Marshall kicks off college football tonight, a night here on the program. A Mountaineer quarterback, ranked number 11, will join us. Also, Pitt defensive coordinator Paul Rhodes will be here. Pitt defensive lineman Vince Krishunas. You can't have a college football show without the guru and dean of college football analysts, the one and only Bino Cook, will join us here on the program tonight. The Steelers do have their first of two night practices beginning tonight at Memorial Stadium in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. Pat Paris joins us now at the Fox Sports Net Update desk. And already, Pat, three, four days into practice, injuries, as they always are in the NFL, have become a factor. Yeah, fortunately, though, Stan, uh, none of the injuries so far are anything uh, that we need to keep uh, a real big track on. They seem to be pretty minor. We start our Steelers coverage tonight. A couple of injuries, linebacker Kendrell Bell. Back at practice this morning after missing yesterday's workout with a back injury. An outside linebacker, Alonzo Jackson, missing practice yesterday and today for what's being called a muscle strain. But Jackson is expected to be back at practice tonight. Meantime, Ben Roethlisberger working out for the first time this morning at training camp, as Stan mentioned. The newly signed QB will have a live audience for the first time tonight as the Steelers do hold a workout under the lights at Memorial Stadium in Latrobe. You know, I've heard a lot about it. Um, can't wait to get out to the high school at night practice. Night practice is always fun because under the lights, so i um, excited to get out there. And in other NFL news, Cowboys owner Jerry Jones saying today it was not a difficult decision to cut quarterback Quincy Carter. While the Cowboys aren't commenting on the reason for his release, FoxSports.com is reporting that Carter tested positive for cocaine and may have faced a four-game suspension. Bill Parcells says... 40-year-old Vinny Testaverde will take over the starting duties. Remember, the Steelers play the Cowboys October 17th in Dallas. Steelers announcing today a time change for their final preseason game of the year. The Thursday, September 2nd exhibition game against the Carolina Panthers at Heinz Field is being moved from 7 o'clock to 6.30. So make a note of the new time. On to hockey. Little progress made today after a four-hour meeting in Toronto between the NHL and the Players Association. The two sides are trying to reach agreement on a new collective bargaining agreement. The current CBA expires September 15th. Today's meeting centered around the six concepts for a new CBA presented by the league officials during their last session July 21st. Players Association is opposed to the concepts because they all appear to involve a salary cap. Despite failing to make any headway today, the two sides did agree to meet again August 17th in New York. It takes two to make a deal. I so do you think there's a better understanding from, from the union for what you put forth last time? Oh, I, don't I don't think there's ever been anything but a clear understanding as to the party's positions on both sides. And so uh, hopefully uh, as we get closer, uh, things will get more serious, particularly uh, from the other side. Have they moved even an inch? You know, it, it doesn't pay to characterize inches or feet or optimism or not. That type of discussion isn't going to get this done. Will luxury tax ever interest you? No. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, the Penguins' busy offseason continuing today with the signing of 22-year-old center Ben Eves to a multi-year contract, a fourth-round pick in 2001. Eves just completing his fourth season at Boston College. He finishes fifth on the Eagles' all-time assist list. As a junior, Eves was a finalist for the Hobie Baker Award. And don't forget, it's another Pirates pregame edition of PSTT tonight at 9.30. Rob King and I will join you to get you ready for the Bucks and the Dodgers. Plus, we'll show you the Steelers working out under the lights in Latro. Plus, our Dan Potash is in L.A. for tonight's game. He'll go one-on-one -on -one with Dave Williams as a lefty. Coming out of the bullpen right now, could certainly, maybe later in this season, find his way into the starting rotation for the Pirates. And Stan, I want to put your mind at ease with the Rashid Marshall of WV here and Vince Kochunas of Pitt. 
I put Brent Stover in charge of security to keep these two apart. So well, everything should be safe. <laughs> you know what? If Vince is chasing Rashid, he better be quick because <laughs> Stover is not going to provide no. much of uh, <laughs> much of a blocking force to prevent that kind of sack. And no. of course, Vince will get his chance in, at uh, Heinz Field in November to uh, to tackle him legitimately with equipment on. Yeah, but two very good guys and uh, well representing their schools tonight. Absolutely, we're talking college. Thank you, Pat. We're yep. talking college football tonight. Of course, we want to continue talking about professional football. Yesterday, we told you that Big Ben Roethlisberger struck one, meaning struck a deal with his contract. He struck one this morning with his very first practice this morning, and he'll strike one again with his first practice before the Steeler faithful. After this morning's workout, our trainee Kisnera caught up with the Steelers' number one draft pick. Ben Roethlisberger's official debut as a Steeler came with some nerves and a few misses. It felt like it was the first day of minicamp all over again. Uh, Tommy and I were laughing, and uh, but you know once you get out there and get that first play out, and I think the first throw I had, I had a chance to throw to Plex for the first time, I overthrew him because I was so excited, and I told him I came back and got him the next time. But he also left an impression by the way he throws when he's on. He kind of throws the ball; it's kind of heavy. <clears throat> you know, it really doesn't have a lot of rotation to it. But when it hits you, it kind of sticks to you a little bit, and. You know, it's kind of one of those things is, you know, you just, you just keep your eye on the ball and it kind of, when it hits you, it kind of sticks to you a little bit. One thing is certain, Roethlisberger has some catching up to do. He looks rusty. You know, I, I think it wasn't so much knowing what he did, it was just the timing. The one thing that was really evident was his timing was just a little bit off. Besides being a little rusty, Roethlisberger is going through what a lot of rookie quarterbacks do, and that's bridging the gap between terminology and execution. Offensive coordinator Ken Wisenhunt says Roethlisberger does a good job of calling the play in the huddle, but doesn't always run it perfectly on the field. Right now, he's just saying the play, and then it takes him a couple of seconds until he understands what it is because he's so worried about saying it the right way. So until that little gap catches up, he's going to struggle a little bit. It's just learning new stuff because, you know, the same play may be called something different. So uh, I'm getting the hang of it. The more repetition I get, I'm doing a lot of extra meeting time with Coach uh, Whipple and just trying to, to learn as best I can. Roethlisberger says because of the mini camps, he doesn't feel that far behind, but he will continue to put in extra work after practice like he did today. In La Trobe, Trenny Kaznarek for Severin on Sportsbeat. Thank you, Trenny. The best thing about Roethlisberger coming in a couple days late he doesn't have to run those gassers, those 1440 sprints that they had to run on Saturday morning. They'll catch up to him at some point, I'm sure, but at least he avoided 